Uh, he's had time. He's had a chance from the time he could walk to be around, you know, a couple of really good uh, receiver coaches. Uh, been around his dad, who coached receivers at one time in his career. He's been an offensive coordinator. So he has football in his blood, and he's a competitor, and he's a smart kid. So I'm looking forward to coaching all of them. I, I look forward to the day that we get out on the field in the spring and, and start working with them. Uh, and one thing I think they all understand is there's opportunity. You know, there's opportunity to compete to play. We all want to win too much to not play the best guys. <laughs> Any return? Any of those guys return kicks or punts? Or? Gerald, I, I believe, could be a punt returner or kick returner. I think he possesses the skills to do it. Uh, um, DJ Williamson, I think, has a vertical speed uh, similar to, to Stoneham. I don't. It'll be interesting. I can get in the room and challenge him a little bit because uh, for the past two years, I think Stoneham's been foot speed wise the fastest one in that room. So. Now I can bust his chops a little bit, and I'll, I'll get a challenge there and find out if DJ can beat him or not. So we'll find out. Yes, it will. Um, uh, with uh, Ricardo and Jeremy especially being bigger guys, is there any chance that they might you know, put on weight and become tight ends? or, or is it? I, I hope not. We recruit them to be <laughs> receivers, you know. Um, but, you know, if that happens, whatever happens, whatever's best for this team, and, and to get us get us going in the direction, continue us in the direction we're going, and get get this thing where it needs to be. Uh, if that helps the team, that helps the team. But they were neither one of them were recruited uh, for that purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh.